People talk vaguely here of an increase in tension, but it's hard to see any immediate evidence of it in the streets of Nicosia. The incidents of the past few months leading up to the present development do not seem to have affected many people. And most important to the Cypriots, it hasn't affected the tourist trade. What is evident in the streets is the sudden increase in the number of mobile patrols by the National Guard. In 10 minutes on this corner of Metaxa Square, we counted 18 jeeps on patrol. And normally I was told you'd see about one an hour. The National Guard, which was formed 10 years ago to protect the island and its elected leaders, has now become a thorn in its side. Last week, President Makarios publicly accused the Greek government in Athens of trying to turn the National Guard into an army of occupation. It's reasonably well equipped with Russian tanks, British armoured personnel carriers, field and anti-aircraft guns, and all the necessary communication backup. But the surprising thing about the Cypriot National Guard is that it's completely under the command of Greek officers who receive their pay and their orders from Athens. Since relations with Greece has long been strained, President Makarios has now decided that these men should return to Athens and be replaced by Cyprus-born officers. Many of these Greeks, he says, have been supporting the Ioka terrorists who've many times tried to assassinate him in their fight for Enosis, union with Greece. He's also accused Greece of organizing underground movements against him and especially financing opposition newspapers' anti-government campaigns. President Makarios last Monday announced that he had documents in his possession which proved Greek officers had supplied terrorists with money and weapons. In 10 days' time, he said, the National Guard will be reduced by a half and the 650 Greek officers will be sacked. They must then leave Cyprus. His formal letter was sent to Athens one week ago and he's still waiting for a reply. But whatever the reply, he says, the officers are out.